Hi guys, welcome back to Tasty Makusa and today we are making banana bread. Guys, banana bread requires super ripe bananas. To speed up the ripening process, I kept my banana in the freezer for about two weeks now. As you can see, it is frozen. It's 10 p.m. at night. I just want to leave it outside to thaw until the following day and I will show you how it will look like. Yes guys, good morning. It's a beautiful day. I promise to show you how the bananas will look like after thawing it overnight. So this is how it looks like. It's very soft. This is how you want it for your banana bread. As I told you last night, banana bread guys require super ripe bananas that have brown spot on the peels. You do not want to see any green color on the peels. Why do you want to ripe bananas? Because as banana ripes, the starch on the fruit turns to sugar and it becomes more sweeter. Now, the brown spot on those peels will bring great flavors to your banana bread. For the ingredient, you will need some vanilla essence, cinnamon, eggs, butter, sugar, baking powder, and flour. You will find all the measurements at the description box below. Guys, before starting with the baking process, preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Prepare your baking pan by coating either butter or using the baking spray. Guys, look how soft these bananas are. Definitely, they will bring more flavor to the banana bread. Step 1. Make sure you mesh well your bananas to incorporate flavor by either using a fork or a potato mesher.
Step 2. Banana bread require a specific order of operation. Guys, this order is very crucial. By adding your dry ingredient to the wet ingredient, allow for better introduction and incorporation. Step 3. Do not overmix the butter as you might ruin the texture. Guys, the key to the most beautiful, moist, and fluffiest banana bread is not to overmix the butter. Because if you do, you will only develop gluten, and when gluten develops, you'll end up with a chewy and dense banana loaf. Trust me, you do not want that. Guys, to ensure the doneness of the cake, please insert a skewer or a toothpick in the center of the cake. If it comes out clean or with few crumbs, know that your cake is done. To my first timer or my visitors, thank you so much for stopping by and you are so so welcome. If you are enjoying the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. If you can, please leave a comment for me at the box section below.
yes guys thank you so much for watching it's always a pleasure to have you visiting my channel if you haven't subscribed please do don't forget to push the bell notification so that you don't miss any uploaded video please don't forget to share and like and drop a comment below for me until we meet next time it's a goodbye for now thank you and god bless bye